I'm going to preview the number 16 Baylor versus number 18 Rice and Rice didn't lose last night and I get these stats for the season are not up to date but I'm going to give the stats from last night as well and what happened for some of those players that were used a lot as I scroll down the list list here I mean okay the first player to keep an eye on is number five Nia McCardell and she is a five foot seven inch libero slash defensive specialist so that's she has like 11 assists on the year and seven sets played two three service error assist one service error two receiving errors 34 digs that's all she's done up to this point in time Okay, the leading kill person on the season is Emilia, Emilia, E-M-I-L-I-A, West, W-E-S-K-E. -E. And she's a six foot three inch right side hitter. That's a, that's a grad transfer from USC. So yeah, it's kind of a notable if you, know what I mean experience I mean she has 28 kills on a year on 75 attempts eight error attacking errors uh, one assist four service aces two service errors 25 digs and she's only got two blocks on a year both of those were assisted in one block blocking error and one player I did not I want to go ahead and mention number six Campbell love and she is a five and six inch libero slash defensive specialist she has no kills on one attempt one error one service ace three service errors two receiving errors 15 digs and that's all she's done this year okay i want to check The only reason why I'm going to mention this next player is because she played in last match. I mean, two sets played out of three. Actually, in correction, she did not play at all. So, yeah, no need to mention her on this. Okay, number 11, Darby Harris. And she is a five foot nine inch setter. That is a sophomore. She has no kills on uh, on the uh, actually two kills on seven attempts and one er attacking error on that. Fifty four assists that leads the team, and she has like a, a fifty four assists out of eighty threes for the team here. So yeah, that's definitely a notable three assists. Aces, two service errors, 24 digs, one one block, but that was a solo, I mean, assisted block. Okay, definitely the next player to keep on on is Satasha Kostelecki, K-O-S-T-E-L-E-C-K-Y, and she's number 12. And she is a six foot four inch middle blocker that's a grad senior, graduate senior. Six kills on 15 attempts for four er attacking errors though. One service error, one dig, five blocks, but three of those were solo. And by the way, on Darby Harris, she has all three ball handling errors for this season. That's, that's all right there, I mean. The next player to keep on is Danielle, Daniel, or something like that. D A N Y L E. I apologize if I butchered that name. Courtly, number 14. Six foot one inch outside hitter. That's a senior. 
And she has 25 kills, which is second most on the team, but 59 on 59 attempts, six of six attacking errors though, five digs, two blocks, but both of those were assisted, by the way, and that's all. So now really a lot of no blocking numbers, if you know what I mean, when you look at it. And the last player to keep it on is Cindy Chutungwangwa. Something like that. I apologize in advance. T A I mean T C H O U A N G W A number twenty four. And she's a six foot outside hitter. And fifteen kills on fifty two attempts. Six attacking errors as well. I mean one assist, two service aces, two service errors, eleven digs. Two blocks, but one of those are assisted. So yeah, I, for for the team, they only have 14 blocks on a year. That's not a lot. I mean, that, and that's just based on so far this year, and that's only on two matches, by the way. It doesn't include three, which I will put that in the description below, as well as what happened last match, where Rice got beat at home, three sets to none. 25 17, 25 22, 25 19. So, yeah, obviously, Emil, Emil, Emilia West, number seven, is definitely a notable. I mean, she had nine kills last night on 35 attempts, but she also had eight attacking errors. She had seven digs, two blocking errors as well, one service ace. Yeah. That's a notable. I was saying the same thing for Satasha Kostelecki, number 12. She only had one kill on six attempts and two errors. One um, assisted block, one blocking error, one dig. Nia McCardell, obviously. I mean, she had no kills on two attempts, but she had two service errors and 19 digs overall. And Izzy Rawlings, obviously, she had no kills on one attempt, but she had an error on that attempt alone. Nine nine assists, one error, one service error, two digs, three, I meant two ball handling errors, three digs. Obviously, Daniil or something like that, Courtly, number 14, she had the second most kills on, on in the match, eight kills on 27 attempts, four Oh, those were errors on those attempts, by the way. One assisted block, two digs. Another player, I mean, like, Sahara Maru Maruska, I know. I probably didn't mention her. And, uh, because she did not play up to this. Uh, and she only played, like, one set all year long. And by the way, on that one set all year long, one one kill on 13 attempts, four attacking errors, one dig, that's it. For the season, Sahara is a 5 foot 8 inch outside hitter, that's a senior. Yeah. But she had two kills on 15 attempts, two errors last night, two service errors, four digs. And, and I did not mention Caitlin no no knob number four she's a six foot middle blocker two kills on 15 attempts and two attacking errors last night actually one kill on six attempts two attacking errors yeah two service errors four digs that's it but for the season Seven kills on 14 attempts, one error, one assist, two service errors, three digs, two assisted blocks. So as you could tell, they're not as, they're somewhat tall, but I mean, not, not like huge, huge. They're decent, I mean, not like, yeah, Emily West, by the way, is a, yeah, I mean, they're, 
the tallest player they only have is like six foot four, and that's about normal. Not like six foot five or six foot six, but after those six foot four and six foot three, the next short, tallest player is like six foot one. So I'm not gonna say that's terrible size. No, it's still a good size. It's I'm just saying, it's just an observation on all this. And Lola Ford, F O O R D, played last night. And she, prior to that match, two kills on eight attempts, one error, one assist, one dig, one assisted block, which is the only block she had all year long. And she's a five foot eleven inch right side hitter. So yeah, they were really trying hard last night. And she had four kills on six attempts two digs that's all she had and like like I said Sir Maruska also actually had like two one receiving error last night too okay the last player to keep it on and she only played two sets out of three by the way is Cindy Chuchuguangua however you pronounce that number 24 six kills on 13 attempts Four attacking errors. That's all she had. And for the match, they only had two assisted blocks and one solo block. So Dust only had two team blocks last night. And they had eight blocking errors. Yeah, they had 53 kills, but I mean, 53 digs, but they still couldn't win because they gave up more kills, first of all. And I mean, they gave up 37 kills last night. You know, the opposing team, Louisiana, only had 10 attacking errors when compared to Rice with 24 attacking errors. I mean, that's a big difference in, in all this. And no, Louisiana had 11 service errors last night and Rice had 8. But when you go by the set-by-set -set basis, Rice did, was not efficient all match long. They trailed... Louisiana in every category, I mean, like kills, I mean, like the hitting percentage was in favor of Louisiana last night. I mean, that's the truth. Now, I know this is a big match for Baylor here because the last thing you want to do is start 0-3 and, and especially lose your home open. But you got to consider that the first two matches were against two top five opponents and I yes I get Minnesota lost last night to Texas but there's still Minnesota's still a top ten team you can't deny that and Wisconsin's the new number one so you don't really those two losses are not like bad losses yes you got pretty much proper stomped against Minnesota in that last set but you were somewhat close with them. And against Wisconsin, you took a set off of them. And they're the best team in the country. I mean, and you got to come out ready to go and fire it up. I mean, come out ready to go because Rice is coming off of a loss. I mean, that's the truth here. When you look, I mean, and you got to have a better hitting percentage than the last two matches for sure. You can't get any worse than a zero that's what happened actually in a previous match because against Minnesota look at the hitting percentage they had a zero as a team which is insane to me but you also played against two very experienced teams I mean I'm just telling the truth yeah, they hit, we hit like a zero, Baylor did, last match. I mean, 27 kills and 27 attacking errors. You've got to get those attacking errors down. And granted, that was the only second match of the year, and it's hard to play back-to-back. -back. But still, and we're a younger team, especially with a lot of underclassmen, 13 of those. And it's not including what the one of the juniors on the team, it's a juco, so she's on a trying to tra tra 
trying to get acclimated to the Division One level as well. I mean, besides those freshmen. But in order to be the best, you got to play the best. That's the only way you're going to get better. I mean, you got to have more assists. I mean, you had 26 assists on 27 kills, but the problem is you need to have more kills. You got to limit your errors. I mean, your attacking errors. Of course, Sir's errors need to be cut down as much as possible anyway, because you don't want to give a free point out. And of course, you got to have some aces as well. That would really help in your direction. And you have five receiving errors. You got to cut that down. And you had like five team blocks, which you could get more blocks. And you probably need to dig more, get more digs as a team too. I mean, and and make the other team feel more comfortable. And now I think with two hard games under our belt, on Baylor's belt, you should be more than prepared for Rice because Rice, they're not like a bad team. But they're not as good as the other two. I'm calling it the way it is. Look at the ranking. I mean, and, and yes, Rice does have one, two, three, four, five, six seniors, including two grad seniors. And you don't have any seniors whatsoever. And it's not including two juniors on the team for Rice as well. So they have more upperclassmen than we do. So you gotta have crisp passing as well. I mean, not just when you try to set up for a kill or anything, but in general, you gotta. I mean, in order to set it up for a kill, I mean, like the pass before the pass, you know, and you gotta disrupt Rice's rhythm. I mean, at times you held your own against. Of course, you gotta have more. You gotta be better on a side out as well. I mean, you were eight for twenty-five in that last set against Minnesota. That ain't gonna cut it. Obviously, you did pretty good in side out against Minnesota in the second set, sixteen out of twenty-four. But the problem is you couldn't get it. You pro you had nine. Attacking errors though and that said and that kind of hurt you. I mean and You gave up 11 kills as well and of course granted you're trying to just Find a way to keep the ball alive and you can't give any overpasses to the other team and hope for some other passes on your side and you got to Limit your errors in general. I mean, that's the truth and you don't want to have like a rotation error and of course, you got to make adjustments on the fly, especially in a game like this. And I'm, I know it must be a little bit nervous playing your first home game ever for some of these players here, but you got to stay composed and be ready to go. And I know they probably have looked at the film and correct, try to correct some of that stuff and get rid of the rust because let's face it there is rust after you haven't played against somebody else in a, in a bit I mean besides yourself I mean the only way to get better is to find out where your strengths and weaknesses are and you got to correct the weaknesses I mean you got to and obviously you got they're they were looking at the film for rice already as well and just to And you gotta have like really good timing too. And say, I mean, the thing is, you don't want the ball. I mean, when you pass the ball, and like the time, and ju you jump too soon or too late. I meant too soon, and then, uh oh, you know, that's the thing deal here. And you gotta have some players step up in terms of leadership as well because we're a young team so and I know this is a little bit long for this but it's only because I went over the last match for Rice because it's a notable thing 
they lost to somebody that's not ranked. I mean, it's. And I'm going to put the roster in the description below as well. Anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe. And see you guys later. Five subscribers, we're on the road to it. Let's go.